Good morning guys. So this morning we are doing Elsie's Peak above Fishhook and we have set off on a day that's kind of overcast which you can probably see and I'm going on a new section of the path which starts out. Uh, doesn't seem easier than the original part. Uh, it's pretty worn out. What I love about this walk is the vegetation. Get some amazing flowers and get to see some amazing views as well. What an amazing day to be doing this. Uh, it's because it's not as hot as it was yesterday when I was doing silver mine. So quite enjoyable. And this walk basically goes from here straight to the peak. So first half of the walk is just the climb. Second half of the walk is just the descent. While you're descending, this is your view. So my gimbal just died, but not to worry. So the area that you're looking at the moment, a couple of years back, got completely burnt out. Normally this vegetation is probably about five foot high, four foot, five foot, somewhere around there. But it's really encouraging to see all this new growth coming back. And I don't think the camera really picks up everything. Um, like over there is a pin cushion starting to shoot up so the fire was only two three years ago two little flowers like this way down in there you got the buku which is right there which has an amazing smell you've got this plant here which is part of the pea family i'm not sure exactly the proper name but if you look very carefully at the flowers they look like sweet peas and that's how i know they're part of the pea family Besides that, you've got lots of grasses, lots of restios, but they're all sort of knee high at this point. And you've got some other plants going down here, which is wild fig. And you've got a cone bush approach here, which is there. And you've got one, you can see all the dead pin cushions from the fire and then just one lonely one over here flowering that survived so that's the height that everything should be at but because of the fire we're all back down to the start some fakies on the bottom down there Got some pelagoniums. I'll show you up real close what pelagonium looks like. It really is pretty. From a fame boss point of view, this is a really special, special place. Try and see if I can focus in on that.
So the contour path and descent is something I haven't done yet. But I'm going to Elsie's Peak today. But that path will be explored soon. We head up in that little neck in the middle of the screen there. From this point, we've probably got about 300 meters until we get to the peak itself. And it's from this point as you summit up onto this plateau that the plant life really becomes stunning. I have no idea what that is. I have to look it up. Hopefully I can find it in the home flowers of Table Mountain. I've just seen a fire erica which are not that common and I'm hoping to see some gazanias as well along the route they normally the gazanias are normally flowering up here gazanias obviously you can buy in the nurseries but up here they grow wild Alright, that's it guys. Thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also join me on Facebook, which is Cape Town Hiking with Tim Lundy. Twitter, which is Cape Town Hiking. And as well as Instagram, which is Cape Town Hiking.